Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater. I definitely don't think I ended the vlog yesterday. I think the last thing I said was, I'm going to um, get ready for bed, and then I'll see you before I climb into sleep or something. I don't know. Anyways, I didn't. I was laying in bed. I was like, yeah, well, it is what it is. Anyways, today is currently Monday, and I am at work, obviously. Um, it should just be a short shift. So we talked about seat covers and stuff yesterday and basically we still have like 120 to 170 to do we have no idea how many are cut if we're being honest um and so we da, 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 my brain and so we're just trying to figure out how we're gonna do those going forward we don't have any more shows that need them at least at this point and for the foreseeable future with all the cameras set up we won't need all those seat covers anyways. Obviously we wanna get them all done because who knows what the heck the future is gonna look like. Um, but there's no rush anymore like there was for getting them done for the show. Yeah, the show was yesterday. So, so <laughs> I will be working my regular shifts and then if I need any time to fill my four hour call time, then I will go up and sew for that period, but I won't be coming in extra to sew, which is honestly fantastic because so many people want masks and like <laughs> scrunchies are great to make because scrunchies you sew a straight line you flip it inside out you stuff elastic in it and you sew a straight line <laughs> masks not so much um especially with the nose piece but it's fine anyways i've got 14 masks on order at the moment so <laughs> And good news, I do have eight of those cut out. So I'm hoping today to get those ones at least stage one of being sewed and maybe get the nose piece in because it's like the most annoying. No, that's annoying. And then sewing around the edges is annoying with the nose piece, but it's fine. It's worth it. They're so much better than the other masks. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to work hopefully just four hours with no sewing. I think like I'll have stuff to do. I don't know. It's weird. It's first like show show in months. And um, then I did write nap in my agenda when I woke up this morning because I was exhausted, but maybe we won't have to nap. I don't know. We'll see. I'm much more awake now, but that could drastically change, but I did put it in my agenda, so I'm allowed to do it if it needs to happen. <laughs> Um, I feel like I had something else to say. Oh, I've been having such weird dreams the last two nights, especially. I can't remember them, but at the time I distinctly remember them, if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to go now and I will see you when I see you. Well, hello. I am home from work now. So my boss showed up and it was Latte Monday, which was great because life's kind of back to normal. But I have this shirt here and I really love this shirt, but I noticed the other day that it had like a couple small holes in it. So I was like, oh, I'll just transfer that to a work shirt because like, it's fine. They're, they're pretty small. And then today I was eating and I got a stain on it. I don't know if you can see. Anyways, I got craft dinner on it. And then later I was looking and I have like this huge stain down the front and I don't know <laughs> how that happened, but basically I think it's the shirt saying, hey, give up. We're done. <laughs> I've had it for many years. So yeah, my battery's about to die, but it is 12.15. I'm just gonna go make some food. And then I think I'm gonna go to Fabricland this afternoon to get some stuff to work on different projects that aren't making masks and scrunchies. So that's very exciting. But for now, it is food time. Okay, so I went to Fabricland and you know when your like, throat gets really dry and you start to have a coughing attack? Yeah, so I had my mask on, which is great, except then I like couldn't get air in, so I was dying a little bit, but we got over it. <laughs> it's fine. I was just like holding my mask like this. I was fortunately at the tilts, so I was about to leave, and I'm just like holding the mask like this to get like some fresh air in so I wouldn't stop dying. And then we like go outside, and my mom was having a smoke, bad habit, and she like looks over, and she's like, well, that's not good. And there's like just a fire it's cool so this other guy came out and he's like oh have you called and she was like no he's like okay well I'll call right now so anyways that was excitement but I bought stuff right my battery's gonna die let's resolve that so basically for the next like two weeks until Thanksgiving I kind of want to stay at home a bit more so I want to get a couple projects to work on other than masks and scrunchies all the time because masks and scrunchies all the time even though I do like I need to sew masks today I need to at least get a start on the eight that I already have cut because I have another six and potential for more so anyways 
I wanted to get a couple other projects that'd be fun to work on and also help me move through the fabric. So I got, this is uh, mostly like a utility thing. It is um, fleece interfacing. Um, so if you don't know what it does, you can uh, iron it and basically fuse it to a different piece of fabric to give that piece of fabric more structure. Uh, what I want to do with that is I want to make like some makeup bags basically or like just general use bags. And so I also got a red zipper <laughs> and a blue zipper to that end so I can attempt these. Um, I watched a tutorial. It looks relatively easy. It looks very similar to some totes that I used to make other than the fact that you have to like turn everything inside out. It's fine. <laughs> I also picked up this black cotton, just plain black cotton, mostly for the inside of those bags, but also once I wash it, then I can use it um, for insides of masks too, because eventually I will run out of my white cotton that I have. It's cotton that I bought specifically uh, to embroider with, and I hated it. The lady was like, oh yeah, this will work great for embroidery, and it was like, I hated it. Anyways, I also picked up a meter of this terry cloth fabric, so wait for it. I got these really cute um, reusable cotton pads a couple years ago. They're terry cloth on one side um, and cotton patterned on the other and I love them and I want to buy more from the same shop because you know support the shop and um, they, they're they not open right now and so I set like an alert for an email but that was like at least a month ago they like to tell me when they're open again so I'm like I guess I have to make my own so I'm gonna attempt to make my own. <laughs> We'll see how this goes. I was gonna rub this on my face, but then I remembered to put makeup on and that'd be a bad idea. And then like probably the most exciting thing, I still have a few more things, but like November last year, I saw this fabric in a flannel, flannelette. Um, and I was like, I need that fabric on some pajamas. And so I've been like vaguely shopping around for a pattern for a while. I found a pattern last night, I think. And so I was like, I need to go and I get, need to get this and it's, it's gonna be more involved than some of the patterns, or obviously than scrunchies, but I have done similar stuff to this before, but like, <laughs> it's a T-Rex with a Santa hat on it. I was just like, this needs to be in my life. So I'm gonna make myself some pajamas <laughs> out of this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, the nice thing is, is it's only end of September, beginning of October. So I do have some time to make them before like, one, cause they'll flannelette, I want to wear them, and two, before it's Christmas, but I'm very excited. And then I got some boring things. I got um, another holder for my bobbins that are wound because that one that I have is almost full. I got some white piping for the pajamas. I've never worked with piping before, so that's going to be an adventure. <laughs> it's it, it said that the um, pattern was intermediate. I'm like, that's eh, fine. <laughs> and then I just got some thread for the pajamas to match. So yeah. All very exciting. I'm super stoked to like eventually on that. I did also buy a membership for Fabricland because I have a feeling that I'm gonna be buying more fabric in, in the next year. So that's where we're at today. I think the plan is going to be to at least sew the mask pieces together, if not sew the mask pieces together and get the nose pieces in. And then maybe if I'm super ambitious, then I will sew, sew the outsides to the insides. That'd be great. But baby steps and the first step needs to be me getting my sewing machine out because I can't sew without that. Anyways, that's where we're at. That's the update. There's my fabric haul and um, I will check in with you in the um, near future, hopefully. Hello and welcome back. It is significantly later. I feel like I say that all the time. If I ever made merch, the merch should just say it is significantly later. Anyways, it is 10.30 presently. Um, I made eight masks and I only have two here to show because I brought the other ones downstairs and I'm really, am I too lazy? No, I'll go. Um, so those ones I have to send, but the other ones are for my mom and her boyfriend. And um, yeah, they're pretty cute. I have another six ordered that I have to make. Well, I'll probably start 
them tomorrow, like I'll cut the fabric, but here we go. So this one here is for my mom, Constellation, and then uh, Cruel and Beautiful with Maleficent and Ursula and Cruella on it. And this is for her boyfriend because he loves red trucks. This is for her boyfriend's daughter because she loves Christmas. <laughs> um, anchors for her boyfriend, and then this one with these ships on it for her boyfriend as well. So that's exciting. It was um, quite the push to get them done today. Uh, the first half, like as always, goes pretty well. But then once you get to the actual like forming everything and putting everything together, it takes forever, especially with the nose pieces in it. But we're good. Everything is put together now. Eight in a night, not so bad. And then I wanna try to make bags with zippers. And I probably haven't sewn a zipper into anything for over a decade. Probably like 15 years, to be honest. Um, maybe more. Jeez, I'm old. Um, and so I just winged it the first time. It didn't go so well, so I'm going to have to stitch rip everything. And maybe watch a tutorial about how to use a zipper foot properly, because I don't think I did. Uh, but I did get all the fabric cut, and I got the um, fleece fused together. What is this? Um, so that's cool. Anyways, I have a disaster in my room. I've already started picking it up, but like as always, it's just a fabric situation. I mean, everything's a situation right now. It's all so bad. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep watching elementary because that is what I've been doing. I've done like nothing on my list today, to be honest. I didn't even nap, um, but it's fine. So, say la vie. I gotta rearrange things, I think, but that is fine. Um, I just wanna sleep. Anyways, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to cut masks and sew masks and stuff. <laughs> and then I think the next day I'm going to start catching, catching, what is, what was I even trying to say? Cutting was part of that. I don't know what the other part was. I'm going to start cutting um, the Halloween fabric for scrunchies. So that is in the plans for tomorrow, no, Wednesday. I'm off Wednesday, which is nice, so I should be able to, one, sleep in, which I think I desperately need, and two, do some sewing and some laundry. Anyways, that's where we're at. I am going to stop rambling at the moment, and I am going to clean. Oh my goodness. My brain is shot. It's fine. I almost did it again. Oh, English. I almost did it again, but I caught myself and I am ending the vlog. It is almost 12.30. I should really be sleeping because I need to get up, like I need to be moving in seven hours and I ain't gonna fall right asleep. So that's a problem. Um, the zipper that I tried to sew, I have detached it from the fabric again. So take two will happen another day. Um, but for now, it's back to stage one, which is a good thing. And yeah, I'm just gonna go to sleep. And with that, I will see you probably tomorrow. Good night.